Hello, this is Jay from Data Here to There, and today I'll be showing you a quick tip about how to enhance your product displays using the Term 14 app for Shopify. And so we're looking at a test store here where we've loaded in a number of products, and we can click on the View an Online Store icon here to just show what it looks like on the front end. And so this is what a shopper would see. So they see the title, the images, the pricing, uh, description, fitment information, but let's say you want to add some more. Maybe you want to put in the manufacturer part number. Or maybe you want to put in a comment for special order products that says, you know, please allow more time because it's a special order product. So you can do all of these types of things using uh, the Shopify liquid code. And so what we're going to do today is show you exactly how to do that. So let's pretend to be web developers for a minute and uh, we'll go in and, and add that manufacturer part number to the product displays. And uh, now before you get started, you'll need a few things. So you'll need a Shopify store. Uh, you'll need some basic knowledge about themes and then uh, copy and paste skills. So let's take a look at the product here that's first on the list. So scrolling down, you'll see on the right hand side that there's a number of tags available and so we've added these on purpose we've added these so that you can enhance your displays on the front end independent of what kind of theme you have so there's some useful things in here like whether or not the product requires a prop 65 warning uh, whether or not it's a ltl product uh, so if it needs like uh, extra shipping uh, fees. Also, if it's a special order product, so it might take a little bit longer to get going. So you might want to have a display in your product about that. But also there's the manufacturer part number. So we've got this text in front here. It says MPN colon, and then the original manufacturer part number. Now, sitting here in the tag, it's not too useful, uh, just hidden on the back end. So let's actually go into the theme so that's on the left hand side of the menu and we go to the online store and then there's a there's a button here where you can customize but don't press that one <laughs> that's the one uh, that goes into the front end editing we actually want to go deep down into the tunnel of editing the code so click the edit code button and this is now going to show us the liquid code. So this is the, the machinery behind the theme. And you want to go all the way down to the product template liquid. And there's going to be a lot of um, uh, code in here. What I'm looking for basically is just the title. Now every theme is different. So you might find it near the beginning. You might find it in the middle. I'm just going to keep looking. There's info about media. Uh, oh, there we go product single title and product price. So that's where I want to put it. So what I'm going to do is give myself some space and I'm going to copy over some special liquid code. And this is going to show the manufacturer part number tag. So you can get this from our support group. Uh, you can just email support at data here to there.com. Uh, or we can maybe include that for you uh, um, on the video link, but I'm just going to paste it right in here. So, we can also format it a little bit better too, but this is just quite a simple um, addition. So what this is doing is it's saying, uh, for each of the product tags that are included, look for the MPN. And if you find it, then add a new item called manufacturer part number. So I wanna save this now. And then if I go back to my products, I can do a preview. And so when I go to the preview, now we should see manufacturer part number, voila, here you go. So now you can do the same thing. You could add, uh, let's say a, a bit of text about a uh, special order and whether or not it's gonna take some extra time or you could put like a Prop 65 uh, graphic uh, for the products that have Prop 65 warnings. And so there's quite a lot you can do here. If you need any help, uh, feel free, uh, give me an email or give me a shout and uh, uh, we'll help you out.